Okay, okay. We are back with more Lana Del Rey. <clears throat> I noticed the production. Uh, God bless America and all the beautiful women in it. I noticed the Metro booming on production. Metro booming on this. Kieran Menzies, Rick Knowles, Dean Reed. We all we're familiar with those. I mean, we're familiar with Metro booming too. But that just that's out of left field on Lust for Life. Okay. Shit. Let's check it out, man. Is it building? Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> that ad lib though. Dude, that shit was fire the way she delivered that. I don't know how to feel about this. I don't know how to feel about the chorus. You can tell this is where Metro Boomin comes in with these hip hop drums, right? Is that what's is that who's doing this part? I don't know. I'm just it just doesn't like it doesn't sound bad, but I don't know how well it fits into my ear. To my ear, to how it sounds to me. I don't know if it fits that well. And the gun sounds. Uh why the guns I mean America Is the gun sounds kind of inappropriate because it's kind of like she's saying God bless America and all the beautiful women in it. And yes, we all know America has a gun problem, but do we really need the gun sound effects in there? Because that just kind of makes it like weird, especially with the subject matter of God bless America and everyone in it. It's just like counterintuitive. Okay, let's wait. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm starting to enjoy the drums more. I'm starting to like that more, especially when the hi-hat came in. But I still think the gun sounds are kind of just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Not like literally, but like they just shouldn't be on a song like this like i don't know take me as i am don't see me for what i'm not only you can hear me tonight keep your light on babe i might be standing outside you let me in don't leave me out or leave me dry Yes. <laughs> Get free for free. Okay. You know what? It's pretty good, but the damn gun sounds just ah. <laughs> the gun sounds don't belong here, but I do like the drums now. I definitely like them. hi-hat 
bridge. Okay, she's rapping. You're going too fast. Hold on. I mean, she's not rapping, but it's pretty fast. If when you talk that talk with the lights on, I still somehow know that I'll never feel ever feel lonely. Mm. Okay. The background vocals too. Dude, I love how the background vocals do the thing that the bridge did where it's like it's like dun 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 it just keeps like rising. That sounds so cool in the back. It's mainly in the left ear. Strings now. What I man, her voice is just so fucking nice, man. I like that ending, kind of creepy. Um, <clears throat> I'm curious though, does this, does this explain the reason for the gunshots in, uh, like we all know the reason, the placement of the gunshot sounds uh, after each phrase is deliberately and highly informative to our interpretations. The title is a reference to a song of the same name. Um, it becomes symbolic of American patriotism, typically sung as an expression of national pride. <clears throat> God bless America in this case is a sincere plea, a supplication to an unknown divinity that might take mercy on an increasingly hostile and unstable state and the woman living in it. Instead of patriotism, the song is filled with angst and uncertainty, which foreshadows the themes of the next track on the album. When the, war, the world was at war, we kept dancing. Great song. Interesting. Okay, I see. I see. That's fair. That's fair. I, yeah. <laughs> Um, it was described as, this is what I was like, what? An unbridled spanker of a song? <laughs> spanker? I have never heard anyone call a song a spanker. I've heard of a banger. Spanker. I don't like that. <laughs> mm. Spanker, I barely know her. <laughs> okay, no one's laughing. It's good. Feels Grand One production and themic in verse. Very New York, in fact. Ah, a sparkling pile of empire and accomplishment. I do hear that New York. I didn't like. I get that. Uh, revealing that the song was inspired by discussions about the current state of women's rights, specifically of how her and her female friends were um, worried about a lack of political leaders who represent them. The singer added to the song was deeply inspired by her relationship and love for the woman of her life. Aww. Um, a fan-made mixtape. What? Wait, wait, oh, wait, oh, you quit trolling. It's the title with a fan-made mixtape of her unreleased songs. Okay, 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 okay. I thought they were going to say, like, Lana was going to, like, green light it and let that thing fly. I was like, what? In 2012? It's 2023, we still don't got no unreleased project yet. Um, Alexa Trump's the president of America's canceled. God bless America, let me full minute me. Is that Katy Perry? <laughs> What is she wearing? That is fucking hideous. I'm gonna keep it real. That's that's no. Who thought that was a good idea? I'm not even American and I'm crying. <laughs> the shots before all the beautiful. So fucking well put. If young Metro don't shoot, if young Metro don't trust you, they go shoot you. Yeah, he didn't have his tag in this. Probably because he only did like uh, the drums or something. He didn't, you know, take the majority of it. Paper planes. 
paper planes of this decade okay you weren't even there for paper planes then dude paper planes was like insane dude this song is nowhere as big as paper planes paper planes was all over the place remixes left and right like i don't think there will ever be another paper planes the final course are ever refrain from the bridge even when you talk that talk i got love on my side i know that you'll know better about cats okay, i'm not reading that <laughs> can anyone else hear the doves flying during me you stand proud ah i didn't hear that i did not hear that that's cool i don't know man i think it's cool to love your own country but sometimes people like take it too far the same way it's like with religion where people like that's cool but then there's like the extremist as like the far side of you know loving your religion or loving your country to the point where it becomes their entire personality and it's just like be your own self stop i i don't know um but yeah, I think it was a really well-made track, dude. I, I was thrown off a little bit by the drums with Metro Boomin, I'm assuming, during the chorus. But I feel like I heard the, the first chorus and then the second chorus came. I actually enjoyed it. I think they fit. Um, yeah, man, keep it really. I'll keep. What will I rate this one? It is pretty good. It is pretty good. Her vocals are freaking nice. I just love her vocals. The ad-lib's really cool, too. Um, I don't know, man. I'll give it like, I'll give it like an 8. I'll go like an 8-6. I'll go like an 8-6. I think the shining thing on this track for me personally is her vocals. But like that's always shining. So <laughs> anyways, man, 8-6 for me.